Hello and welcome to my video today. We have a sneak peek at the Ocean Link Pro app or OLP. It is a pre-beta version that I have access to today and we're gonna have a beta release in the next day or two and a full release to iOS and Android phones over the next week or so. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about the app. So let's get started. At this point, I've downloaded the app to my phone. I'm gonna be trying it for the first time. So let me click on the app. It says OceanLink Pro, take control, reclaim your ride, log in with FOA. So I'm gonna press that. So you're gonna enter your email address and password that's associated with undercurrent. And there was a pre-registration, uh, I think at least a month ago, where you entered that information and you should have the email and password for that. So I'm gonna press sign in. And it is starting up. All right, so it is logged in now. I have on top of the screen, it says Ocean Link Pro. And below that, it has my ocean, VIN number, color, registration, and it says digital key available, which is important. That means you can unlock and lock from the app. If I click on this, it gives you some options. You can connect Bluetooth to the car. Before I do that, let me go into the settings on the side here. There are a number of different options. By the way, we have app version 1.0.01129. We have a button for logout. We have a button for support. If you press that, it goes out to the browser, allows you to make OLP bug reports and feedback. So I'm gonna go back to the app. There's a settings screen here where you can choose your language. Uh, only choice is English for right now. We have distance units, I'm gonna pick miles. You can do a light or dark theme. And finally, you have your choice of temperature. I'm gonna choose Fahrenheit, and then we'll go back into settings. And then, was there anything else? Oh, there's also a diagnostics button on here that I'll show you in a little bit. So going back to the main menu here, I'm gonna press on connect to car. And it says connecting. All right. So it gives me the options for lock, unlock, California on, and start. So let's test that out. I'm gonna do, since the car is unlocked right now, let me press the lock button. It instantly locks, as you can see. Now I'm gonna press unlock, and it is unlocked. I'm gonna press California mode on. Don't see anything with that. So, so far I got lock and unlock. So when I was talking about diagnostics, you're gonna need an adapter for the OBD2 port. And I happen to have one right here. This is the V-Linker FD Plus, which is the only one that is listed as compatible with OLP. Let me take this off so you can see it more clearly. And it shows support for iOS, Android, Windows. And I purchased this on Amazon. I think it was around $40. Let me open it up. They have a little starter guide in here. And then here is the adapter itself. Here we go. It says V-Linker FD+, Plus, BLE Plus Bluetooth. And it has to be version 4 for compatibility. And then on the other side is the connector for the OBD2 port. So I'm gonna connect this to the car right now and show you how that works. So here we go on the driver's side door. The OBD2 port is located right here. And I'll show you that close up. All right, there we go. We can see the port. Now you just have to align the adapter so that the narrow portion is facing the driver's seat and then you just insert it. So I am going to just plug it in like this, push it all the way in, we'll snap into place. Now we can do some diagnostics. 
Going back to the app, let me go into that left menu, then press the diagnostics button here. Important warning, performing diagnostics while the vehicle is in motion can result in a car crash, serious injury, or even death. Ensure the vehicle is completely stationary and parked before proceeding. Additionally, diagnostics could cause unexpected problems to the vehicle. So let that be a warning. Definitely do not be driving while you're doing this. No diagnostics and driving. Press continue. Owner responsibility. I understand the consequences of this action and hereby state that the vehicle is in park. Any problems that might happen to the vehicle are my sole responsibility. I'm gonna press agree. And now it says car ready mode. Make sure your car is in ready mode. Oh, I need to do that. Let me sit in the seat here. Press the brake. So I am gonna press okay. Initializing connection to car. All right, it took a little bit of waiting, but the car diagnostics screen came up, shows my VIN, it has a DTC report, software versions, key fobs, and cards pairing, window calibration. We go to DTC report, we can select all the ECUs, go to next, and there's a ton of information in here. I last cleared my DTCs a couple weeks ago when I wanted to quiet the fan when I showed that in one of my videos. So what we'll do now is, yeah, there's a whole bunch here. I'm gonna generate a report. If I click on any one of these, it gives you information on that module. After about a minute or so, the buttons are now lit up and it is thoroughly done reading all the DTCs. And now I can generate a report. So I am going to generate a report, open PDF, and I can save that on my AirDrop or any other place. I can even text it to myself. So now I just saved it to my iCloud account so I can look at it later. So you have the option to reread the DTCs, clear the DTCs. I'm not gonna clear the DTCs since I don't really need to at this point, but if you do wanna clear them, you already have generated that report. So I do recommend to read the DTCs, generate the report, save it before you clear any of them. And then after it's cleared, you can reread them if you wish. So I am gonna go out of DTC report, go back, Back to the diagnostic page right here. You look at software versions. Let's click on all, go to next, and it's populating all of the versions here. Now I see some of these versions are blocked off, so we don't have those for information here. All right, so as I scroll down the list here, everything is populated and there are a lot of ECUs. So very cool, this would be super helpful to have. I am going to generate this report also. I am gonna share it and save it just like I did with the DTCs. Awesome. So I'm gonna go back out again to the diagnostics main menu. Then there's a fobs and cards pairing. Ah, coming soon. This feature is under development and will be available soon. So that is something that will be very handy to have for pairing the key fobs and the NFC cards. We also have Windows calibration. I just press that. What is it gonna do? Gotcha, so you have this little menu here that shows a picture of the car. We now have a new feature for the app. 1130 is sunroof. So we have calibration for different windows.
and we have sunroof control so we can actually open so I'm going to press open right now and you'll see and there we go and I can do close And we also have tilt. All right. So those are the new features in this update from the one I just did a couple hours ago. And I'll show you the version. And this one is 1.0.0.1130. So that's it for now in diagnostics. I'm sure over time we're going to see more options in here. Next thing I want to test is actually driving the car with the app. So let's see if we can do that. I am going to lock the car. We got lock. We got unlock. So I'm going to go inside. So we have the app here. I am going to press the brake. We are now in ready mode. I'm going to press start. So by pressing the start, it takes away that key that you usually see when you have to use the NFC card on the reader. So that means that the car is in ready mode. It can be driven. So let's uh, put it in gear. And I am going to park. All right, now I'm inside my garage. And there we go. So yeah, so the app is still showing it as connected. I'm going to do the lock from inside and see what that does. We get the lock. You got unlock, so you can do those from inside the car as well when you're seated in the driver's seat. All right, well, there we go. We have a quick look at the Ocean Link Pro app, and I was able to lock and unlock the car as well as drive it with just the phone app. So very cool. So now we have an alternative to the NFC card and the key fob. Pretty exciting. The only other thing on this screen here is the California on. That's gonna be something that's coming soon. So we'll be able to control California mode from the app. And I also got to show you the diagnostics. So very handy to have those reports printed out for the DTCs as well as the ECU versions. I'll be checking out this app. There's gonna be multiple updates coming all the time. And eventually when we get the PKC 21 this summer, probably in July or so, we're gonna see even more functionality. So stay tuned for those announcements and I'll be covering any of the changes in the app. So look forward to the full app coming to the iOS and Android stores in the next week or two. That should about do it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.